presented by Toyota Corolla, the one above. Trade Partners, Exchange for Media and Pitch. Print Partner, Mint. A very warm welcome to all of you. This is our second, what we call the art camp. It's not quite a camp. Let's call it a symposium. But you would note that we are calling it art and wealth creation. We will talk a quite a bit about how to go about choosing art, what artists think, how money is interfering, if at all, with their process of creativity. We'll talk quite a bit about the money aspect of it. For many of you, while you may not admit it, a type springs to life because it costs a couple of crores. If it's sold for 10,000 rupees, you probably wouldn't even have the time of the day for it. That's the reality. Money is important for all asset classes. And while art looks very beautiful on the walls, it is an asset class and a very important asset class too. I think I'll start off with just five minutes of laying the turf out in terms of the risks which exist in the art world. The first thing to understand, I think, and it's very, very important, is that the art market is not like any other market, any other financial market at all. And I think if there's one central issue which differentiates the art market with any other market, it's liquidity. Art cannot be bought or sold on the screen as easily as you can buy stocks and bonds. The other thing from an aesthetic point of view is, how do I go about buying art? You probably need to much of the taste in art is acquired. A lot of it that you end up buying eventually does not evoke a very strong response in you in any case. But you buy it because something tells you this kind of art will strike a chord with a global audience. So these are some realities of the market and I think instead of getting carried away about where Souza and Raza and Atul Dodia could be headed two years from now and probably the future is very bright for the art market. If you're an entrant you're better off understanding the risks and your downside and the costs because they are as important as the big picture rosy story which is painted. With that, we've got Ajay Shed from Kopal Art Fund. I didn't want to sound uncharitable when I spoke about art funds but there are some genuine questions and I hope Ajay will address it since he's raising quite a bit of money. I'm told he'll raise 150 crores very soon to invest in art. That's very promising and a bit scary as well. When I entered buying, I mean I started buying art eight or nine years back, we were not looking at the appreciations, we were basically collecting art as a hobby. And one fine day, I met uh, Kesha Malik and Professor O.P. Sharma, and I said, I want to show you my collection. When they s saw my entire collection, quick came the response, light it to a matchstick. I said, I put in lakhs of rupees, but says, you don't know how to pick up an art. Now, this is the question, or this is the query which everybody has in mind that who would advise what to pick up, which is the body which is going to advise the new breed of collectors, the beginners, what to pick up, from where to pick up. The new, new class of collectors and the beginners, they, they have to be advised. Unfortunately, we do not have a platform where this kind of guidance is available. So here comes the mutual funds or the investment funds. Now between the two, we decided that we'll go for an investment fund where we first put in our own money, right? So when an investor or a beginner wants to, you know, take a call, wants to make a beginning, so my first tip, like I would say, is to make a very small beginning. You would also gradually learn, pick up things the way I have learned. First and foremost is that when you're investing, you're doing a beginning, you have to like that art. In the beginning, you may not, you know, uh, afford or you would not like to take a call on a painting worth crores. Make a small beginning. Now who is going to guide you that the painting which you are taking or you are investing, buying from the gallery, is, is worth that or no? So when, when we talk about the, the beginning, you have to look into what are, what are the artists, who are the people, is there a, pro, a renowned gallery, is there a fund or is there any auction house which is promoting that artist. And thirdly is that you have to stay invested, as I rightly said, for minimum period of say two to three years. See the progress of the artist. But when we say that when you have to buy an artist, don't do an impulsive purchase. This is my tip, my advice. See more and more art. 
get the details about the artist. Now, I would say that just go through the details of all the literature for any mutual fund which has been floated. If there are funds which are investing or putting their stake first, they are investing. It means they are confident about that artist, they are confident about the business module and go by their advice. Thank you very much all of you and thank you very much all of you for speaking tonight.